Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. Wish you a very happy new year. And this is the first video of 2024 and I thought why not start with something crazy. So I created this aquarium nail using an XXXL tip and I'm going to show you how I did it. So before I start, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment all those good things in this video. So let's begin. As usual, I'm starting with dry manicure. I'm using my electric file to do the dry manicure. I'm quickly uh, using a flame bed to remove the dead skin around the cuticle area. And once I'm done with this, I'll be switching into a hand file, which is a 180 grit. Uh, here, my nails does not have much dead skin because as you know, I keep on doing and removing extensions. So I do not have much dead skin to remove. And once I am done with this thing, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I used a hand file 180 grit and then I remove the surface shine from the nail plate and once this is done you can clean the nail plate and then uh, our next important steps is coming up so which is to sizing the tip so as you can see on the screen so these are like press on tips I don't think this is soft gel but I used it as a soft gel uh, because I was anyways not going to keep this for a longer time because as you can see these tips are like really long and for aquarium nails obviously we need longer nails so I measured the right size of the tips for all my five nails and now we are going to start with the aquarium building so let's see how that is going now that we have measured the tips next we need is a builder gel you can also use a clear poly gel and then I am also using a paper foam here and uh, I will be doing the uh, aquarium nails only on my three fingers which is my middle finger index finger and uh, ring finger and next uh, I just mark the natural nails length on the tip so that I can leave that area uh, now next I started applying the builder gel onto the paper foam so I'm not going to go with like a very thick application but at the same time it's not going to be like super thin also uh, when i peel it off you are going to see the reason i'm using a foam paper foam is because i want to peel it off uh, once it's cured so once i applied it once i'm happy with it uh, what I did is I placed my tip and then I cured it so since it's a clear builder gel it will cure faster but still you can use it for like 60 to 90 seconds depending on the light you have um, so I'm curing it for like 60 seconds Once the gel is completely cured, you can use an orange wood stick and gently scrape it off and lift it from the uh, foam and then you will have like a pipe like shape uh, underneath your tip so you can just see how it looks here. So we are going to trim that extra edges and all but this is how it should be. Next I am using a cuticle uh, scissor uh, to cut off the extra length. When I am cutting the extra length, I am still not going all the way close to the uh, tip because we don't want uh, it separating from the base. So when I was doing this, I realized that I am doing a mistake. I did not buff off the edges of the tip. So because of that, it was not attaching to the gel properly while I was separating it from the foam. Um, the gel was also separating from the tip so I buffed the corners a little bit and then it was working fine so after trimming the edges this is how our uh, tip looks like so as you can see we now created a gap between the uh, tip and the base gel that we did and next I'm going to uh, close one of the edges so some people they keep the tip part open and some people keep the uh, bottom part open so I'm going to leave the bottom part open and I'm going to close this area uh, so for that I'm using a clear poly gel and uh, I'm using a brush and a little bit of uh, slip solution so that the poly gel doesn't get stick to my brush and then I'm closing it just make sure that you are sealing it properly we don't want any uh, leakage happening later so just make sure it's completely sealed and then you can cure it so I repeated the same for all three of my uh, tips and then we start filling it with our glitters and stuff Now let's move on to the interesting part. So these are the things I'm going to put into my aquarium. So all beautiful glitters, everything I got from the wholesale market here. So as you can see, this is all like really Christmassy. Uh, so I'm not going to put everything in it because if you put too much stuff in the uh, nails, then it won't move like up and down when you like tilt it. Uh, but I 
made that mistake the first one i had so much and second one and then i reduced the quantity and the third one i think i had the ideal amount of uh, you know glitters and stuff but let's see how it goes so before i inserted the glitters and stuff i decided to like uh, fine tune the edges as i mentioned earlier i did not cut it too close to the tip uh, i'm using a, a mandrel bit just to buff down the uh, uh, you know uneven edges just make sure you're not over filing here we don't want that gap uh, you know uh, forming uh, while filing it so i just used very gently and you can also use a hand file if you want just to make sure that we have like really fine edges and then dust it off and clean it with alcohol so all the cleaning use alcohol so that uh, it's like completely dry there is no oil or anything anyways we are going to put the oil and then we need to seal it so we have to make sure that there is no oil oil and uh, extension products are kind of enemies they don't work together and you know uh, nothing will stick to a oil base right so just make sure it's clean and now that we have the pocket ready I'm like very I was very excited to fill in all the glitters inside so as you can see um, uh, I'm filling it with all the glitters and once uh, glitters are in that's when I added the oil so normally what we use is uh, um, for the aquarium nails we use uh, baby oil I had a bottle of baby oil but unfortunately I couldn't find it so instead of baby oil I used coconut oil which was kind of transparent looking only other oils they have like a slight color so it won't be like a aquarium nail so that's why baby oil is the best one uh, unfortunately the oil putting part was out of frame but um, what I did was I used a syringe to push the oil inside and after that I'm using uh, like a, a tip to clean up the edges using uh, alcohol and then again using poly gel I'm going to close that opening so that the glitter and the oil everything is sealed inside so uh, once this is done I will not keep it down I'm going to hold it like that and then I'm going to cure it uh, under my UV lamp So after curing this is how the uh, first one looks like so as you can see this is packed with glitter so it was not like moving so much inside so second and third I put little less than what I put in the first one and now uh, for the application I am using the mandal bit again just to make sure that I am removing the shine from the bottom side like I said this is not a soft gel tip this is just a regular press on tip uh, so I remove that shine so that it can form a good grip on my natural nails and then um, I'll be using a gel glue to attach it next I'm going to add a little glue at the bottom side and then I'm going to uh, put a drop of glue uh, just enough to cover my nail plate and then I'm going to flash cure it before I put it for the full curing so uh, by the time I reached this stage I was literally exhausted with all the process but uh, uh, yeah so this is how we attach it to the nails after fully curing that's how the nails looks like and uh, as you can see I made a small mistake on my ring finger uh, when I uh, cured it it was slightly tilted to the right side you can see and I was having a hard hard time managing my uh, fingers for the videos and uh, pictures because I am not used to having this long nails um, now that our uh, ring finger sorry our uh, uh, thumbnail and the pinky are like uh, kind of naked nails we don't have any design so I decided to go ahead and paint it with a beautiful royal blue color and then I also added a bunch of uh, golden snowflake stickers to it uh, so I think uh, when I did these nails it was around the Christmas time so uh, I focused on the Christmas theme and even the aquarium uh, nail is filled with Christmas glitters and stuff so um, overall this was a fun experience um, boy I could only handle it for two days and I really respect those people who have like longer extra extra large nails on both their hands and managing their daily stuff I couldn't manage it for like even two days I just wanted to get rid of it so um, I trimmed it after two days and then I removed it completely uh, but overall it was a fun experience it was very time consuming but um, but the best part was um, looking at it like just tilt it and you see that bubble going up and down and it was so fun uh, 
I was completely into it for the two days, and then the weight it was actually heavy, so I had to cut it off. I didn't want to put so much pressure on my nail plate. As you can see, I only have like tiny nails, so I don't want to. I didn't want to put so much pressure. But this was it, and it was fun. Um, I hope you guys uh, like this video. If you like it, like, share, comment, subscribe, and if you like to see more crazy nails, let me know. I have something else also planned, which will come up soon. um i'll see you soon and wish you again a very happy new year and we'll see again until then stay safe stay happy thank you